What's up guys? It's Nina the Nail Nerd. Today I'm going to show you guys how I did this cute Easter bunny. Easter's coming up. I hope you guys have a really good holiday. I'm going to start with a green acrylic in the background and then I'm going to put two different kinds of green glitter on top. One's a lighter green, the other one's darker. I just want it to look more plant based. I want it to look like the bunny's stuck in a bush and with its butt hanging out of one end and its head hanging out of the other. I think it's going to be super cute. As soon as I'm done putting the color and the glitters down, I'm going to cap it with clear acrylic just so that way when I'm filing it, I don't file away any of the glitter. I'm using Young Nails again. I love their products. I actually got a mystery box from them. And the glitters that I'm using I got in the mystery box, so that was really awesome. I will also have everything I'm using in this video listed in the description box down below, so don't forget to check that out if you're curious about what I'm using. So now that all of the products on the nail, I'm just going to file everything and smooth everything out. That way my 3D design comes out way better. And as soon as I'm done with this, we will get started on the bunny. Now that the background's all done, I'm going to take a bead of acrylic. I'm making sure that it's not too wet because I want to be able to sculpt it. Um, I'm going to lay it down and then make it into the round shape of the bottom. I don't know why I'm calling it a bottom. I think I'm trying to be appropriate, but it's a cute bunny butt. Anyway, I'm just going to finish shaping this and then we'll get started on the bunny head. Now I'm just going to do the same thing I did for the butt, but I'm going to do it in a little bit of a different shape. I'm going to make sure that the bottom part is wider than the top part because bunny che cheeks are chubby and that's what I'm going to do. Also I'm making this shape smaller because the head of a bunny is smaller than the butt. I'm also making sure it's pretty low on the nail so that there's room for the ears. I'm pretty happy with the shape so I'm going to start with the ears. I'm taking a medium wet bead and I'm just going to shape it exactly how I want it. I'm going to try and make sure that the ears are nice and pointy with a little bit of a hollowed out point um, because I want it to look really 3D. As soon as I'm done with the ears, I'll be back and we'll add some more details to the bunny. Now that the ears are done, I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I put more details on the face. Now I'm going to come in and work on the bunny tail. I'm just using some white glitter that I also got from Young Nails. I mixed it with clear acrylic and I'm just going to put it exactly where I want it. I'm making sure that I'm using a little bit of a dryer bead, that way it keeps its round shape. I think the glitter adds some texture to it and makes it look a little bit more fluffy. Now I'm going to make the feet. I'm going to make them on top of a form because 
it's not sticky I can pick up the shapes that I make and put it where I want it I'm just making sure that they're pretty oval just like bunny feet um, they're gonna be a little bit more round because it's more of a cartoon bunny I don't think I'm using speed while I'm doing this um, I made sure that my room was pretty cold that way I had time to work with it so that's just a tip for you guys the heat in the room does affect how fast acrylic dries if it's really warm it's gonna dry faster if it's cold it's gonna take a longer time I'm pretty happy with the shape of these feet so I'm just going to pick them up and try my best to place them where I want them. I dropped one piece and I had to pick it up but that's okay we got it on the bunny. I'm just adding a wet bead of clear acrylic so that I can attach the feet. As soon as I put the feet on I'm going to kind of bend it into that crease that way it looks more like the bunny's laying on its tummy. So my sister actually gave me this idea. I was asking her for video ideas and she mentioned Easter and so I thought about doing a 3D bunny. Um, I haven't seen this done before. I'm sure it's been done because it's a cute idea. Whether or not it has, I'm doing it now and I love it. And the whole point of life is to do the things that you love, right? I notice a little dent in the foot so I'm just taking another really tiny bead of acrylic and I'm just going to fill that in. That way it looks as smooth as the other foot. I'm going to wait for that to dry before I paint anything on top of it. Right now I'm just going to take another pink acrylic and fill in the ears and then I'm also going to do the nose. I love this color. It's it's pink just like a bunny. I got this one in the Young Nails mystery box too. I'm telling you guys you should do that. Um, they do it every Thanksgiving for their Black Friday. They have a bunch of different ones. I think I did anyway. I have a bunch of their colors. I made this nose by just taking a tiny dry bead of acrylic. That way I could work with it without it getting all over. I think this is the tiniest 3D thing I've ever done. Super cute though. Now I'm going to do the eyes. I'm just using a gel paint by Light Elegance in the color black. I love their colors because I can just paint it on and I don't even have to top coat. It's just ready to go. I did use a normal gel polish for the feet. I didn't worry about top coating because it's just a video. These nails aren't really wearable anyway. Um, it's just for the nail art. I do wish that I had more colors in Light Elegance though. That way I could do stuff like this without having to top coat. I didn't think I would have so much fun doing this. Um, it's not really something I would normally do. It's super cute though and I love it and it's great for Easter. I should try new things more often I guess. Now that both sides of the bunny are done, I'm just going to top coat the background. I want to leave the bunny mat so I'm not going to touch that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something or maybe want to try something new or even just enjoyed watching it just because you like to watch nail art. And if you do like watching nail art, don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting some more videos every two weeks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye!